What's up, savages? I'm going to tell you about the most underrated thing in this world, and that's a haircut. Nothing makes you feel like a brand new person like getting a haircut, which makes sense because you're losing your dead hair and replacing it with a new style of dead hair. That's what's intriguing. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Gandhi's Thoughts, brought to you by my nutrition. I am Gandhi, and my beard is officially longer than the most of my hair on my head. Yeah, it's uh, it's getting fucking awesome. I'm gonna be honest with you. It feels good. I actually have to dry my beard before I have to dry my hair. Uh, it's really awesome. But anyways, so today I'm gonna be talking about TK. And I'm hopefully, if I have time, depending on what happens, and by what happens, I mean if I talk too much, I'm gonna talk about SB as well. So hold on to your seats, everyone strap in. Let's, let's kick this show off. So TK, right away here, this team has kind of went through a lot of... Uh, an emotional roller coaster, if you will. Um, after Cod Champs, Theory and Formal both leave the team, and it's left in the hands of Sharp. Sharp is the brand new captain, and somehow or another, Goonjar decided to stay, and we'll get into that in a second. But they were able to acquire Apathy. They won the 2K with him, or the 1K, whatever it was, with Apathy, and everyone was like, oh my god, this is it. But they had Methods on the team. So when they had Methods on the team, it was Methods and Apathy, and everyone was like, oh, this team, you know, they, they don't look bad. I wonder if they're going to keep them. Well, they go, bye-bye, Methods. You don't communicate too well, right? And, and it's their own personal opinion. It's not me saying it. They said, you don't communicate too well. We're going to drop you, and we're going to pick up Dito. So then TK sitting there, they're like, yes, we got Dito, we got Apathy, two people from Strictly Business who took down Complexity. We feel good, and the team looked really good to watch, and I was a big fan of that squad. But sure enough, Dito gets a call from FaZe Black, and he's like, oh, what's that sensor in Saints? Yeah, he's got two phones, he's dual-wielding phones. He's like, what's that? Oh, yeah, hold on one second. Yeah, you want me back? Bet. Really? No way, pink. Bet. 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 Seriously, bet. You gotta listen. I'm gonna go to FaZe Black. What do you think? She's like, sure, I guess. So Dito leaves, and then they're just stuck. And they go, I don't know who they're going to grab. I'm sitting there, I guess, there's just no way they're going to get they're gonna get anyone decent. There just wasn't. I figured they were going to have to grab Methods back. But meanwhile, Justice is all breaking apart because Killa and Miracles are going to Optic Nation, which we covered in the last video. So then Nezla was free. And if you guys haven't seen Sharp's video, it's fucking hysterical, where he kind of calls Neslo, and he's like, yo, you want back? All right, welcome back, bro. <laughs> it was fucking awesome. It was a great video. But so Neslo's back on this team, and right away, Neslo fits the, the TK family. And by that, I mean there's, when you join TK, this is kind of what they're looking for. They want a person who is loyal. They don't want to have to worry about someone sketching, and they want someone who's good and wants to continue to get better. They don't want someone who's just going to join the team, instantly make them better, and then kind of plateau, and then fall away. They don't want that anymore. And I think, you know, Jimmy's kind of doing the right thing by, you know, kind of pushing that onto them. And, I, you know, everyone's kind of buying into that entire system, which... I like because so many teams we see they're just built for one event or built to take down complexity right tk hopefully you know they're built to continue to get better and better and better which i think is the same thing with optic nation so i think both of these teams soon are going to really really shine now this is where things get interesting now what did we all say by the way this is not alcohol it's just water i just don't feel like doing dishes dishes suck <laughs> Uh, I know I need I need a, like a housewife but minus minus you know the whole wedding thing um, I just need paperwork and dishes to be done that's what I want so apathy as we all know can't make Niagara this was a curveball for everyone they were like well would they pick him up of course they would apathy's a fucking savage dude he's so good he's so underrated and he just kind of floats down here and right? he's not here he's not here he's definitely not here he's right here just floating just doing his own thing. And so he can't make Niagara. He's going to be on a cruise. So who does that mean they pick up? I, I had no idea who they were going to pick up. But they pick up fucking Mad Cat. You know, the guy who's walking out on Kajetsu. He falls because he can't walk, imagine? No, but seriously, it's very difficult to go up a step when you're used to just sitting. All I'm kidding. I, I had to rush you a little bit, Mad Cat. It's part of, you know, this whole scene but really you know mad cat's gonna be playing with him i don't know if they're gonna practice at all with him before the event but it should be interesting uh, you know mad cat's definitely one of the better europeans and i think everyone's kind of accepted how good he is as a player so who knows man i 
it, it could be good, could be bad, but I'll tell you what. This team right here that is going to be going into Season 2 definitely looks very good. And the, here comes the world's shittiest transition of all time. Let's go ahead and talk about SB now. <laughs> See how shitty that was? How awful was that? No, well. So Strictly Business. Now, this is a team who had no members left. Apathy left, Dito left, Saints are Saints, everyone's just gone. Uh, Freegy, which is, you know, Jay, the, the owner of the team. I believe he's the owner of the team. He was basically like, yeah, you know, uh, originally it was just supposed to be formal for Dito, and then, you know, formal and them just all kind of went to phase black. Uh, Kingdom Soldier did a great video with Freegy on it. Uh, you guys should definitely check that out. It's really good. But anyways, the team, John's basically Stainville Methods. All right. Right away, you see Stain. Stain had no team. He was on Justice. He was like, um, friends, anyone help me. I've been around for a long time. Most of you know me, but for some reason I can't get on a team now. But how weird is it that Stainville's not even talked about anymore? Like, very rarely do you hear, like, Stainville's name get brought up in conversation until it comes down to team time, where everyone's like, where the hell is Stainville and why is he not on a team? It's We're talking about fucking Stain. It's Tosh McGruber and he's not on a team? What the hell is going on here? Stain just kind of lays low. I think he's just so over dealing with team changes and everything that he's just like, why bother? But anyways, Methods obviously is going to gravitate towards Stain when he was a free agent because, you know, they saw a lot of success back on Soar back in Black Ops 2 when they teamed together uh, at uh, UMG Dallas, which, you know, obviously, you know, there was no optic or complexity there, but it was still, you know, a lot of people like that event. So Soar... Uh, they're going to have some decent chemistry, but really this team for me is kind of like, with the exception of Tosh, who's like in rep in comparison to them, they, he might as well be 67. He might, he might as well be Maven's age compared to like methods and them. But this team is basically like up and comers for me, man. Like spacely and by up and comers, I mean, you know, they can't go to COD champs, but these guys are the fucking future, man. If COD continues to grow the way it is, you're talking about this team, it's going to be, awesome obviously there's no way in hell they stick together for like six years but these three players individually are going to be very very good i mean john went to cod champs last year wasn't able to go this year and you know he's no one even talked about him and i didn't talk about him because i focused on cod champs but john is a very very good player and i think people forgot about that just because of what happened with the nile i mean they didn't have the greatest Philly event, and John was, I believe John was on denial. I don't know. Someone point check me on that, but I know John didn't have too good of a, not individually, but his team didn't have too good of a performance at Philly, and that's where he's at now. So it's good to see him get away from Fizzerp. I think him and Fizz just don't work together, even though they did win UMG Dallas in uh, 2013, but we're talking about a whole different game here. This is Ghost, but on the whole, I got to say, very glad Strictly Business has a team. Love the organization. I love everything about the people who run it and the people who help, you know, keep that organization alive. So with that said, where do I see this team? This team is going to be my sleeper team every single event. I wouldn't, like, you can predict them anywhere. Uh, with the exception of first. I don't think you can predict anyone first with the besides like complexity i think that's kind of like set in stone but i think strictly business is a team who can be top four top three top two top eight top 12 like they're just going to be my sleeper team and i really really expect to see them just continue to grind and do better and better and better uh for me looking at it i think methods has a lot to prove this year i think spacely definitely does spacely you know you see his Twitter followers, you see everything about him, and you're like, oh, he's a pretty big name, but, you know, like, he wasn't talked about much. And that fucking, if I was a player, that would kill me inside. Like, if I didn't make COD Champs because of an age restriction, and keep in mind, I was only relevant from when I was 14 to 18, so I would have been able to compete in COD Champs one year, which happened to be my worst year. It's neither here nor there. It's a different game. It's a different era, but... That would eat at me so much because who, how, the fact that your name's not talked about in like respected players or like in the fans' mouth and the chatter would drive me insane because you want that attention because you've earned it up to this point. So I'm expecting them to, you know, come out swinging for the fences. But like I said, it's a long season. How are they going to do it in Niagara? I think this is the full squad going to Niagara as well. 
should should be pretty decent. I don't know where they set it pro points, but eh, I think they'll be pretty good. Other than that, ladies and gentlemen, I love you, but I don't love you. Take it easy. P.S. The roast of eggs. I'm working on it this entire week. This week has been fucking nuts, and this weekend I should be able to have a lot of time to sit down and kind of iron everything out. So take it easy.